Hey, Chris, and that's right. Look, we talked about the different Independence Days uh, throughout the year and throughout the month. We talked about Venezuela, Argentina, Colombia. Well, coming up on Sunday the 28th is Peruvian Independence Day. And here at the Charlotte Museum of History on Saturday the 27th, they will have a celebration. That's why I'm back with Rafael Pietro. Hey, Rafael, uh, tell me a little bit about the celebration on Saturday. What time does it start? What can people expect? Uh, four o'clock. It's convenient for the people to come. And uh, how much does it cost? You need tickets. No tickets. Free. No tickets. Free of charge. Free, free of charge. charge. It's a free opportunity to learn about the culture. And when we're talking about culture, if you look at the Peruvian flag, there's an emblem. There's viscuñas, llamas. As you can see, they're part of Peruvian culture. And, of course, food and music is something that is very important to Peruvian culture, which is why we're joined by these wonderful dancers here uh, that represent the culture, especially Raida Caramitros, president of the Peruvian Charlotte Cultural Association. And uh, let me ask you here, uh, there's different types of music depending on the region that you're in in Peru. Describe to us the outfit that you're wearing and the music that represents it. Well, this uh, this um, costume represents the, 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 the Andes, the Sierra, the, the Andes, the Sierra. And it, uh, we, uh, it we will be dancing the, um, the balicha, which is a, a song that was written by a teacher who fell in love with uh, his student. But this music and this balicha and this um, uh, costume is used in every event in Cusco. Uh, especially in the very famous Inti Raimi uh, event. So if you look at uh, Peru as a country, if you want to compare it, for example, to a state, it's like California in the sense that you can be in the mountains in one hour, be in the city in another hour, and be on the coast in another hour. If you look at uh, some other traditional dances, as well as some traditional uh, clothing and costumes, this is more for the coastal cities, uh, whether it's Lima. Uh, one of the songs that uh, is traditional to sing is a uh, Peruvian marinera. Uh, that is something that is has a a lot of Spanish influence on it, but it represents that. And then, of course, another uh, section, another region that is of Peruvian culture is the jungle, because a big part of Peru is connected to the Amazon uh, jungle. With that said, uh, let's see a little bit of what the dances that you guys will be performing is and uh, how you guys do that all together in unison. Let's see it. A couple of steps again. This is from the mountain Andes region. It is known and traditional to many cities in Peru. The colorful dresses have been passed down for decades and centuries here in Peru. And again, it changes depending on where you're at. If we focus on La Costa and the coastal parts, let's see a couple of turns on what Marinera is all about. Right. Again, it's a little bit of cultural music from the coastal cities, and it's more of the Spanish influence that represents it. Uh, Kristen, at the end of the day, it's music, it's food, mm -hmm. it's a culture, it's all about learning, and the celebration here in Peru that celebrates its Independence Day and the cultural uh, responsibility, really, that our city has to represent all different types of cultures. The Charlotte Museum of History is one of them that is uh, leading the forefront in representing these countries, and they'll have a celebration this Saturday starting at 4 o'clock, free of charge for anybody that wants to learn a little bit more. Thank you for that, Jorge, and those traditional costumes are so beautiful. Um, I'm so glad we get to see yeah. all of that, and I'm really, um, that's good. I'm glad so many people are going to be introduced to so many new cultures. Thank you for sharing it with us this morning. We appreciate it.